the Raptors, the only team that had beaten him this season. That's Richard Sherman. Hanging out, giving Jason Terry the Seattle buddy some hugs. Jason Terry, not mediocre, apparently, so he gets, oh. he gets a hug. <laughs> Kyle Lowry knocks down the three there, 12 in the first quarter for him. Time winding down. Lowry winding up. Wow. Beats the buzzer. He's on fire. 20 points at halftime. Yes, playing phenomenal basketball. And Toronto up a point at halftime. Nicely done by Lowry. Playmaking in the third quarter, looking for big Jonas Valanciunas. He goes over the top of Kevin Garnett to get it done. Toronto up by seven. I tell you, Kevin, I mean, uh, Kyle Lowry has just been quite the leader. Paul Pierce off that emotional game last night in Boston. Said it was the toughest game he'd ever played. Back at his new home in Brooklyn, knocks down the three there. Here's Lowry with the floater and the foul. Ouch. He's a tough guy, though. He mm -hmm. can handle it. Mm -hmm. Made the free throw, put him up by six. Pierce for another three. The flashbacks in seven of ten from three point land tonight. Got a two point game. There's another money ball by Pierce. One point lead for Brooklyn. Back and forth they go. Raptors down one. Lowry on the break. Offensive foul. This, this, what do you got? Been, this should have been the dagger. I think it was an offensive foul, but I, I think that that was a game for Brooklyn. Brooklyn with a lead. Can they put it away? With the payroll they have, they're going to be measured by what they do in the postseason. The steal by Patterson. Here's Lowry. Lowry back to Patterson. Patterson with a jumper, and it's good. Oh, what a scene here in Brooklyn. 104-103, six seconds to go. Nets have no timeouts. Here's Pierce, Pierce fires it, no! And the Raptors win, 104-103. Wow, did that just happen? A turnover by Darren Williams, Patrick Patterson with the go-ahead bucket. And you saw the, the Nets looking around like, what, what happened? What happened? <laughs> How did that happen?